Hey everyone, you're listening to 10 Minute Scriptures. This is Tim with the Word of Life Church. As always, hope everyone's doing well and having a wonderful and blessed day. Today we're going to be in the book of Mark, chapter 16, and I want to start at verse 15. All the way to the end of the book, amen? <laughs> now we're at the very end where, right before Jesus is getting ready to ascend back to the Father, and has shown himself to the apostles and had just upbraided them for their unbelief but he's giving them the commission amen so let's read he said the same commission to us all this is the same to us that we're supposed to do so let's read it says and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature amen we have missionary work we have the most powerful tool in history to do it, and it's being done. What's it called? It's called the Internet. Of course, it can be used for bad as well as good. And thank the Lord that it actually is being used for good to spread the gospel. Amen. So one of the signs that the Lord said that he was going to come back that he was ready to come back was when the gospel was to be published amongst all nations and guess what people it's getting to that point as I've said many times before there are places that can't get really almost fresh water clean water but yet they can get the internet and therefore they can have access to the word of God to the preached word of God And can get Bible soon. Even where missionaries are not allowed to go. So think about this. In verse 16 he, has, he said. He that believeth and is baptized. Shall be saved. <laughs> but. He that believeth not. Shall be damned. It's that plain and simple. That is the gospel believe in the saving power and the substitutional propitiatory death of the Lord Jesus Christ that took our place on that cross and shed his blood for us that took our that he died in our place it says it he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. It is that simple. To believe on the only begotten Son of God. John 3.16 <laughs> Simple, but people yet stumble at this. But there are those who would rather just keep the first part of that and just erase that second part. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Especially when you have many out there that saying that that part doesn't exist. You can believe whatever you want to. When you have a Pope out there that says even those that don't believe, as long as you're just good to people, that you'll make it into heaven. Folks, that ain't that's not so. You have to be saved and believe on the only begotten Son of God that he died for you and accept that and turn from your sinful ways and ask for forgiveness and accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior verse 17 listen to this it says and these signs and listen here this is for the church today what are we doing it says and these signs shall follow them that believe are we believers these signs should be following us. Lord help us. He says, In my name shall they cast out devils, and they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. Now I'm not saying in the way a lot of people think of taking up serpents in a haphazard way. We don't tempt God. That's not the way that I understand it. That's not the way many understand it. 
Now, am I going to break company with you because you might believe that's the way that God meant it? No. If you're saved by the blood of Jesus Christ and you believe he is the only way to the Father, then that's your way, the way you want to worship, then that's, that's between you and the Lord. I just don't believe that's the way. I'm talking about the enemy here. Revelation call the devil, that old serpent. Happened in the garden. It was a serpent. Now there's a lot that goes into that, but no time to get into that now. But that's the way understanding that many believe and understand it. But as I say, we shouldn't tempt God. The Bible tells us that. But it says they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. My goodness. I heard someone the other day talk about saying, well, I don't believe in you know special healing anymore because if, it, if that was the case, we would be going in and laying hands on people in the hospitals would be you know just it would be emptied out well absolutely the problem is is we are letting down we are letting down and the spirit of god is withdrawing itself it's our fault so we need to be revived we need that revival spirit to come back in our hearts so these signs shall start following us once again Lord willing so it says in verse 19 so then after the Lord had spoken unto them he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God hallelujah where he is right now making intercession and prayer for you and I if you have any need that we might call upon him and have that need met. So I didn't say wants. Now it's his good pleasure to give to us. But what do we have need of the word of God? You have need of wisdom, of knowledge, of spiritual understanding of the word of God. It's his good pleasure to give that. He said he'll give it to you liberally and upbraideth not. Verse 20. Here's a commission. Here's the commission. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them. See, the Lord's got to be working with us. Nothing we do ourselves. Nothing we do through ourselves. It's Him working with us and through us. He says, and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. So, church, we need to move up. If we want God working with us and through us, signs following us, we need to move up. We need to stop slacking on God. All of us included in this. I'm not slamming anybody. I'm not fussing anybody. I, I, I'm doing this. I say this out of love for God, love for the Spirit of God, love for the Lord Jesus, love for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I want us to have the Spirit of God just emanating from us to work the works of God that we might see many more souls come to the Lord Jesus before it's everlasting too late. Lord, if you have need of salvation, the Lord is calling you today. Don't turn him away. Come to that altar of repentance wherever it is. Accept the Lord Jesus as your Savior today. Repent from your sins. Ask the Lord to save you, to come into your heart, and to take away all those sins, to take up a bow there. Ask him to forgive you for your sins, to save you, and he will. Confession is made unto salvation. Tell people that the Lord is in your heart. He has saved you. Now you're a Christian to be Christ-like. Amen. You've been back to the Lord. Come back to Him before it's everlasting too late. Amen.
praise God. Thank you for his word today. This has been Tim with Word of Life Church, and this has been 10 Minute Scriptures. Take care. God bless you all, and we will see you next time. Bye now.